So the picture, this is two by two. I do look sick in it. Look at that. Hello everyone. What's up everybody? Kumusta mga Pilipino? Mabuhay Philippines? Today's video, it's about how to renew an expired U.S. passport and also how to fill out the form and also what form are going to use to renew your U.S. passport, book and a card. My name is Abelina Incabo. In order to renew your old passport, an expired one, there's a certain steps to follow. You can get the form through at the post office lobby or at the post office retail window or you can print out online. In this video, I will show you what are the steps and easy steps to follow. For this service, you don't have to make an appointment at the post office. You can gather the documents on your own and then, or they give you these guidelines to gather all these documents requirements. Or uh, you can talk to one of the clerks. You can uh, look up online what are the steps and requirements in order for you to renew an expired U.S. passport. At this processing, only U.S. passport holder. So this is the U.S. passport. So you can uh, do this on your own if you know all the requirements. But after you watch this video, you probably know what to do. So this is preparing you how to renew your U.S. passport. It's a lot to do, but it's pretty easy to uh, process and before you sending to the National Passport Processing Center because it has to be done in a proper way and also in a correct way. So now, in order to renew your U.S. passport book in a card for applicant eligible to use the DS-82 form, this one, DS-82 form, it is blue and grayish uh, white, off-white. So this is the correct form you are going to, to fill out when you send this to the National Passport Center. Okay, it's a DS-82 right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but for applicant eligible to use DS-82 forms, passport must be in good condition. No sign from damaging like watermarks or coffee marks or or dog bites or some kind of like sign from damage not mutilated it means no cutting off no cut sign from cutting off and also no sign from missing pages it has to be the pages intact and then it was issued within 15 years if more than 15 years you cannot renew you have to start from the beginning processing and then it was issued when you were 16 years old above if you were 16 years old younger you're like minor you cannot renew you have to start from the beginning from the start uh like a new applicant if you're 16 years above you can renew if you were 16 below you were minor you cannot renew all right passport must be printed with your legal name or you cannot send this to National Passport Processing Center because they already processed this. This is already done and has a hole in it. This is your old one and then this is newer one. So I will show you later the official website for travelstate.gov and hey, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and and also please uh, don't forget to turn on your notification bell if I have upcoming video uh, this week at least it will notify you that I have a new upcoming videos and stay tuned and then let's continue okay in order for you to fill out this form it has to be black ink black ink when you fill this out do not use the blue ink or else you have to redo it it's a hair but it's so small if you make mistake, you do not put a white out. You can draw a line and rewrite on the top. So now, and one more thing, after you fill out this form, don't forget to sign and date it. You can get 
picture at the post office they will do a picture service a photo service as well uh, you can come in there and then of course you have to go to the line i hope you haven't made a plan for vacation during the really really high covid cases the routine service it took like 18 weeks expedite it is 10 12 weeks but they changed the the service now okay i will i will talk to you uh later on on this video or you can print the forms online if your local post office don't carry this a uh, form but mostly like bigger post office they do have a uh, passport uh, service but it depends okay it depends on the post office so how many years has been expired you can renew your passport if less than five years expired if it is more than five years expired of course you cannot renew your u.s passport no more than five years expiration date of your passport if it is more than five years expiration if more than five years expired you cannot renew you have to start from the beginning i mean let's say your passport has been expired 2015 2015 16 17 18 19 20 and 21 you cannot renew you should renew it 2020 i mean within the five years okay they said six months prior expiration you have to renew your passport but like i said if more than five years you can't renew it only within the five years requirements requirements for an expired u.s passport old passport the fee and pictures and mailing in beloved or the proper addressing because there's three types of address or what service do you wanna wanna choose you do not use this one you cannot resend this one it's already uh sent it back to you that this one is not good so you have to send this one like no water damage and no uh sign for dog bites or what whatsoever the pages has to be intact i mean no missing pages in this video i'm just talking for u.s passport expired book no card only for u.s passport book okay the fee you can make a personal check or you can buy, buy a money order at the post office in order for you to get the money order to the post office it has to be cash or debit card or a card with a pen okay for the service for national passport processing center if you do routine service it is that's the address if you do that it's 110 and if you do the expedite it's 170 the fees and then if you live in california florida illinois minnesota new york or texas you have to use this uh, address other than that if you're not live on this state you can use either one of these address but it depends if you want to do routine service that one if you want to do expedite that one in order for you to to mail the going to national passport processing center and i will show you the the envelope put of service pictures you can get the picture at the walmart i believe or the walgreen and of course the post office they do have that service you can get that at the same time when you do your passport renewal uh during mailing time they will do the service for put a service at the post office okay mailing envelope i will show you three types of mailing envelope the proper way to use the national passport processing center they recommend with tracking number we highly uh, recommend the customer use the flat rate envelope this one the flat rate priority flat rate envelope because it comes with tracking it's a little bit faster this one is the expected two to three days and it comes with tracking and of course has a fifty dollars insurance it is eight dollars seventy cents for now for this year so it, it will change it varies okay it will change anytime but this is for domestic and this is the we recommend the customer to use this envelope when you when they do the passport u.s passport renewal or if you want to do faster 
Express. This one, it's guaranteed. They call this overnight service. It is $27.10, but it is very fast. It's guaranteed to be there on the address. Okay, a lot of people do this for like expedite, like really, really fast. I mean, really fast. I mean, overnight service to mail in the National Passport Processing Center. And of course, you can allow to use this one too. A lot of customers as well use this one. They use this one is from their home. It's okay. Post office clerk still need to process this as with tracking number. Post office clerk cannot process going to National Passport Center without tracking. They really recommend it with tracking. Post office clerk do not suggest to use this one because you know why? There's no enough room to put the postage. I mean, you have to put your address here from you and then where it's going to National Passport Processing Center. This will be mixed up to the like a regular mailing uh, letters and you don't want that because the regular mailing it's pretty slow and then you don't want this mixed up to the to the regular mailing if you want to mail this with priority or express it has to be proper postage and proper process so postal clerk are really highly to use this envelope or this envelope and also this envelope okay so now for mailing first of all you have to address it from you and then where it's going you do not leave this blank you have to address it properly so that's easy for the clerk and for you to uh, do the processing subject for processing okay i really point this out this is very important if you want to do the routine service that's the address is the 110 dollars and then if you want to do the routine service you can address it from you and here for routine service for this address i mean this address and if you want to do expedite that's the expedite address and you can put this over here from you to the national passport processing expedite service this is where it's going so now for routine service and then if you live on this state california florida new york illinois minnesota of course you can use that address to put in this address where it's going okay and then from it's you it's from you because you are the sender and then the receiver right here and then extra fee if you want to do the return service fast to you you can pay like $17.50 i will show you later to the website too it will calculate the cost either the routine service and our expedite i will show you later okay everyone we are on the official page of travel.state.gov you see that over here u.s department of state and also this is their announcement uh, for the updates what to expect as as of october 29 their routine service is 8 to 11 weeks and then their expedite processing is 5 to 7 weeks and then the routine service this is like 110 um dollars expedite is 170 okay with additional 60 dollars so so it's really clear here it say our processing times begin the day we receive your application at the passport agency or center not the day you mail your application or apply for, for a passport at a local acceptance facility it's really announced clearly here that when the day you mail it is not counted okay it's the day they receive the application all right so you can read all of this on your own but for now we have to proceed for the forms like as i promised we can look for the forms where to uh print out the forms and then i will teach you what forms you are going to use okay so let me see here so i want the form all right for the passport renewal so renew my passport click that one and then it will tell you here too like how to mail it on your own so you can follow these steps to um 
to be to prepare this on your own uh, if you are conf confident to do this you can do it on your own so now I would like to focus on how to fill out or what form to fill out so now here if you are going to do the form filler if you don't want to stop by to the post office you can fill this if you have a computer access you can fill this on your own and all also you can print it out too so there's a form filler and then pdf file but anyway so you can click this form filler and then of course they ask you this uh, very confidential so I'm not gonna do this tutorial because you can do this on your own you just read this um, the very uh, confidential stuff okay I just show you if you want to do like a PDF file you can print this if you have an um, computer access that would be nice if you are are able to print this out or stop by to the different post office it's a DS this form is a DS 82 so it's clearly uh, tell you guys here what to how to fill out this form it's really like your personal information to, uh, to type it in here but if you don't have a computer access I would say to go stop by to different post office all right so see how to renew fill out the form ds82 and submit your most recent US passport like I said earlier the most recent one not the very very old one like more than 15 years old okay and also no no signs from damages and also uh, if you have changed name that's a different story and also the picture you have to provide a recent picture and also the calculated fees the I will show you shortly and then how to mail this up application to the National Passport Processing Center and of course they give you uh, they really uh, suggesting you to mail it with a tracking number okay so now calculating the fees I will show you how to do this okay for the passport book it's a hundred ten and of course the card is thirty thirty dollars and also for the payment methods for this one is your personal check and then payable to department US Department of State okay when you do that for the to make the payments to depart US Department of State okay in order for you to how to fill out the money order okay if you make the money order or your personal check payable to US Department of State that's the payable in the memo line here on your check you have to put your date of birth don't forget that if you do like a money order I forgot to show you for the money order you can like payable to Department of State and of course it's from you your because the money order is totally different here's the payable too and also here from you it's totally different the the feature for money order but it's the same it's a cash money all right because the money order it's payable to this area here and the half of it it's your information but the main thing for this is payable to US Department of State and then the memo line is your date of birth in order for you to calculate the fees to make sure that you got it or you want to make sure if you pay the right the right uh, amount so you can go to how to apply and passport fees click that one it will come up this fee calculator all right you have to answer this question in order to calculate the the processing fee where do you currently reside United States and then my date of birth that one and um, have you ever had a US passport yes and then yes and then no and then that one so it will ask you for the issuance of your passport do you require changes correction of your passport no so next 
and then it will ask you this a few questions and will calculate your passport so you can read this on your own so renew your passport what product i would do mine is book would you like to add passport card no because i always do a book because uh it's uh that's what i got right now so now Another question in here, to calculate the total cost of your passport, your new passport, if you want to do the standard processing, uh, look at this. This is standard, it is a routine service. I normally do the routine service because uh, I have no plan for vacation soon. So it will clearly say here eight to 11 weeks and then the processing time, it will uh, tell you here. And then delivery time so I would do this standard delivery as well and then if you do expedite this is what the cost and also how many weeks are they going to um, to mail it back to you okay so it's clearly says like they the, the day you mailed in is not counted it's only counted when they receive the application forms okay so for expedite of course a little bit more money and then it's a little bit more faster and also this is the the information you are going to to do so now i have another uh thing to explain here if you want to do um return back to you faster you can you can pay uh 17 dollars 56 uh this is the fastest way to send it back to you but you have to pay this extra money okay so we'll calculate this i will press this calculate and then here we go because my uh explanation for the the routine service for the the book only it's a uh, hundred ten dollars it's a payable to u.s department of state and also for the delivery I don't pay um, any extra I just want regular um, routine service and also this is my only um, uh, I have to pay nothing else and of course for mailing uh, the total cost including for mailing and also picture and also the processing fee I would say because for mailing is eight dollars seventy cents that's the the priority mail it's at uh, two days a uh, two to three days and also a hundred ten dollars um, processing fee for US Department of State and also the picture for fifteen dollars if you want to get your picture at the post office okay so um, I hope I cover everything here and I hope this is easy to follow along and if you have any question let me know guys okay I will go back to um, for more uh, detail to discuss all right according to the national passport a uh, website it say that the routine service is 8 to 11 weeks and then for expedite service it is 5 to 7 weeks. The processing time begin the day when they receive the application. So not the day when the customer or applicant during the time they mailed it. Okay, it's not count. Let's say when you go to the post office, you, ma you mail it Monday. Monday is not count. You have to give them like an extra few days if you do the mailing service priority and if you do express express is one to two days guarantee it has to be there on that day because this is the premier product of the post office service but online it say that you can contact them or you can ask them for any uh, question or any concern where's your passport so one more thing i saw some people they put the travel date here the travel plans so th the national passport center they look up your travel dates your travel plan so if you do like return service fast to you you pay 17 dollars and 50 cents i believe so they will probably do it fast for you but one more thing so do not forget to sign and date it another one use black ink no blue 
if you're stubborn enough you do not listen to the clerk the postal clerk or whoever you cannot read that some postal clerk will help you if they are not busy if you can wait a little bit before you you do this on your own you can ask them before you mail this whole information this whole form you need to check it first okay do not rush i mean yeah do not rush and then one more thing so the picture this is two by two i do look sick in it look at that i look sick you can see that and hey during the passport picture do not smile straight face no smile and then your hair tuck into your ears okay so before you mail this to the national passport processing center cut this half like that and staple this you have to staple this do not put a tape on the back it say on the website i believe or somewhere i read on this requirements so do not tape and hey filipino people do not put a sticky rice mm -mm. Do not put a sticky rice in here. Filipino people, this is not Philippines. This is America, all right? They're very meticulous here, okay? Do not put the sticky rice here like we used to in the Philippines. Mm -mm. And do not put the tape. You have to, to staple here. It say over here, staple it. One, two, three, four. Staple, 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 all right? Staple it like that. It looks nice and then the national passport agent will be happy to process your application okay so don't be lazy don't be lazy people but hey uh one more thing i would like to remind you all when you do process this to the post office retail window do not throw your receipt at the end to this processing the clerk will give you the receipt because on the receipt it comes with the tracking number and that tracking number is your tracking purposes it means you can track it online go to the usps.com online and then you can type in your tracking number and then after that it will um it will tell where is that the items when and where is that arrived okay so it's pretty neat when you look up that online that it feels a big relief when you see it to to the final destination so i would highly suggest don't throw your receipt until it arrives if you have any question you can comment below and i will try to answer your question if you like this video please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will see you guys later on on my next video and hey be nice and be be kind out there okay and then that's all and thank you guys for stopping by bye god bless america land that i love stand beside her